Today we have a huge news video with PetSimX suing a bunch of games, a YouTuber took down Roblox by accident, and uh, one more thing, because what if I told you that if you see a certain thing in your Roblox game, you should probably leave, because if you get close to it, your account will get deleted. Well, uh, I'm lying. But TikTok doesn't know that. All right, so here's the tw uh, TikTok account, not Twitter. I was gonna say Twitter, what the heck is wrong? Where basically I saw this on TikTok like a couple days ago and I was just starstruck, okay? As you can see, these videos have kind of a lot of views. Like, well, not kind of, they do have a lot of views with this one having 800,000 views. And it's the one that I that I really wanna talk about. This is the main one that I, that I probably have in the thumbnail. But let's start off with some of the other ones because obviously guys, they're pretty cool. Let's start off with this one, 100K views, okay? The Crackler. Okay, so it's just like a slideshow of images where it basically shows this size of the monster compared to a default avatar uh and then what it does kind of it'll make a sort of crackling noise once it spots you if it does run <laughs> and then it basically just shows like a screenshot of someone in game and then like a monster in the distance right now i think these are brookhaven monsters i guess i mean all of these are fake obviously i don't think i have to say that but i will just in case these are not real. These are just like, you know, these are like creepy pastas. They're just to like spook people. And it's all, it's all fiction guys. It's all jokey. But yeah, th there's just like a bunch of these. And th the one that is, that is blowing up crazy like is the one called the grabber. So monster six, the grabber. It's around the same size as your player, right? And if it grabs you, your account will be deleted. So now you can see why this one's blowing up. Okay. Cause it claims that it'll ban you if you see it. Uh, that's just not how it works, but it is a cool little thing. And then as you can see you can see just a screenshot with a thing in the background oh my god it's the grabber and all the comments are just like you know uh, saying oh my god this is edited it's not real which it's like yeah that's the point guys but uh it seems like there's a couple people that are believing it for some reason i don't know why it's just a tiktok guys i i <laughs> but you know guys um it has 800k views which which means that i'm gonna talk about it because it's kind of huge and if you do somehow miraculously see a, a thing that looks like this in roblox probably leave I guess, I don't know, because, guys, if, if it grabs you, your account will be deleted. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about this because it's a little bit funny. I don't know. That's what's going on with that. And now we can move on to the next story, which happens to be Flamingo crashing Roblox. So, basically, we've kind of known for a while that uh, there's, like, avatars that can crash Roblox. Some of them will crash it more uh, viscerally than others. And uh, Flamingo actually made a video, Mr. Albert himself, made a whole video about another avatar that crashes stuff. Now, I made a video about this as well. I think everybody has. I think Laugh made a video. Everybody has but in it, albert's video it was a different avatar and i don't think it was pat before his video came out so uh saw a lot more tweets of people saying oh my god roblox is crashing now i don't know if it's because of him or if it's because of you know people just finding other avatars that seem to crash roblox but either way it's kind of crazy because at the end of the day there's still roblox avatars that are just crashing roblox games uh easily and the thing about it is is that the items that are crashing stuff uh aren't like made to crash things on purpose if that makes any sense like it's just unfortunate that they do actually Actually crash stuff. They don't do it on purpose. But you know what happens even though it's not on purpose? They still get deleted, okay? Okay, so basically, I'm gonna try and see if this still works. Uh, cause why not? Okay, guys, you get the giraffe suit and then I or something? Oh, and I tried to go to the direct link to the head and it takes me to the catalog, which means that this one's at least deleted. Oh, this one's not deleted. All right, let's try this one out. Join a Roblox game, guys. Let's see if this actually crashes anything. All right, so I'm joining the catalog game and uh, nope, did not crash, guys. But it does look kind of awesome. Oh my God. Oh no, it doesn't, it, I guess they fixed the crashing issue and they didn't have to delete any uh, items or anything like that but uh it does look really awesome <laughs> and uh nope this is the other head so i guess they patched the issue with uh this avatar crashing stuff my head is all squished like why why does it do that <laughs> why does it do that but yeah that's what's going on with the whole avatar crashing situation uh thank you roblox for having these glitches in the game they do make th uh, the platform a little bit spicy i like that i like that roblox now we can move on to something else which is very very interesting and it's david bazooki okay so basically all the other news youtubers chiseled and creepcraft alike have been claiming that David Bazuki is hacked or something is going on here. Because if you actually go to David Bazuki's official YouTube channel, I think, I think this is his official YouTube channel. Apparently it's linked and stuff, but like official uh, accounts that he also owns. You can see that seven days ago, he posted a, a like poster, which says the Roblox update. Are you ready? Now I'm just very confused by this because this is the old Roblox logo. The hole is not big enough. And also, what is this graphics design, David? Did you make this yourself? You have like a team of, of thousands of people and you couldn't have asked them to make a better poster. But anyways, it says, are you ready for November with a big Roblox update uh, thing. I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll see at RDC, which is happening in three days. Yeah, I don't know what this means. Yeah, he posted this. And it, uh, what does it mean? 
Does this mean Roblox 2 is coming out, guys? Oh my god, Roblox 2! You know, maybe I'll put that in the thumbnail. Maybe I'll just say Roblox 2 is coming soon. I think that would be funny. I don't know. It's it's a complete lie, but what if? What if this means Roblox 2 is coming out, guys? Because, you know, if Roblox 1 was so good, where's Roblox 2? But anyways, that's what's going on with David Bazuki. A lot of people think he's hacked. I think he just, I don't know, he's probably hyping up, like, some fringe <laughs> Arthro bundle or something. Sorry, David. I, I love David, but please let me go to RDC next year. Thank you. But yeah, that's what's going on with David Bazuki. And now we can talk about something else, which is DMCA takedowns on Roblox. Because um, all of yesterday and today, there's apparently been a lot of simulator games that are being DMCA'd off of Roblox. I'll try and pull up some tweets uh, to give you examples here. With, uh, I finally received the DMCA claim, and I and I came to find out that Pet Sim X took down the game because of pet similarities. Which I don't know what game this person owns, but apparently his game only had 30 players, so... So I don't know what that means. I also don't know what game it was. Like, did the pets just steal from it? Okay, apparently it's called Tree Chop Simulator. Let me Google that and see what the pets look like. Okay, so here's a video and the pets, they do look very Pet Simulator S. I don't know. Are these actually just Pet Simulator X pets? They look very similar. Now, does that give Preston the, the right to just delete them? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know legal stuff. It does look very similar though. I'll give him that. But this is only one of many because apparently the developer of Arm wrestle simulator also got threatened with a dmca claim because of their pets surfer rblx is a very big developer on roblox as he owns arm wrestle sim which is a very ginormous like roblox game right now it's huge let's see how many players it has right now so here's the game and it has 39,000 players like it is ginormous and apparently they got a dmca claimed by preston for having similar pets in the game which here's what they looked like Here, here's like a comparison of the pets and i guess they look similar but does this give preston the right to sue people like i don't know how this works legally like is this a legally binding thing that he can do i don't know but either way yeah here's here's another tweet about it big games allegedly across the dmca takedown on arm wrestle scene so here's what arm wrestle simulators pets look like and then this is what pet simulator pets look like very similar i will give them that but like can you legally take someone down for this i don't know but either way not a lot of people are happy with this decision a lot of people are getting mad at preston i saw schlepp made a video about it where he just was not a fan of this whole situation and i mean it's crazy because in my last video i talked about preston suing like a leaker and now he's just going after everybody and honestly guys whatever i don't care i'm not a legal guy i'll let everyone else make up their opinions and i'm just not even gonna say anything i'll just talk about the situation and i'm gonna close my dang mouth okay because i don't know what any of this means but now we can move on to the next story which happens to be an update to my last video where i talked about how this could lock you out of your account which is like this parent thing. And basically, I got an update from Julian, who was the person that leaked this screenshot in specific. Where basically, Julian just said that, yes, this was new. And the reason people will be getting this thing on their account is if they've had the Robux charged back. Which basically means if you bought something with your credit card or your mom's credit card or your dad's credit card or whatever, and they basically call the bank and say, hey, can you revert that purchase because I didn't make it? In which usually, when this happens, you just get terminated off Roblox. But now, apparently, if this does happen to certain accounts that are probably under 13, your account will just get locked until your parent like confirms that it was them that reversed the purchase You know what I mean? So yeah, people shouldn't be getting terminated for chargebacks anymore or, or maybe in the future I don't know. But yeah, that's what's going on with that. Anyways, bye-bye